392s. The way we do it around here at WFO. This is the newest build we're gonna be doing. WFO long arm kit. Literally gonna have a set of 43 inch tires on it, 42s for on the street, two speed Atlas, 72 inch Dynatrack axles, 40 spline RCVs. All of it is getting installed one day. No, I'm joking. No, that's just one video. We're gonna just do it in one video. Day one, 392 build. Austin's over here ripping this thing completely apart, getting ready to put our long arm kit and the Dynatrax in. With it like this, it was easy enough for him. He already did the PSC steering, so that's already done, ready to go. So once the axles are in, mounting the ram will be easy. We are turning and burning. It's hot, but we're gonna get it done as quick as possible. Good thing is, with these things, it's rinse and repeat with us. We have it dialed in, the kits work great. We already have it all figured out. Just a matter of getting it done. Actually impressed for 43s. Still feels like it'll smoke the tires, no problem. 538 gears, Dana 80 in the rear. Come on, you can admit it. Did you smoke the tires a little bit? Maybe a little bit. We won't tell Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I like it. I'm actually impressed. I'm really impressed. Another one out the door, and this is Ivan's 392. We said we wouldn't do it, but guess what? We did it. 43 inch tires on a 392. Let me walk you around this bad boy and uh, we'll show you what we did. So first off, 392 again, black on black, and uh, starts off, it has motorbuilt front and rear bumpers, worn uh, 12,000 synthetic winch, Baja Designs lights, and sure enough, underneath, that is the Dynatrack XD60 40 spline inner comp Dana 60 locker with the 40 spline outer big bell RCVs. Nothing but bad boy stuff here. Um, PSC Ram, PSC Hydro Assist steering on the motor. Has our WFO track bar in it with the chrome alloy uniballs. Of course, our WFO long arm. Um, in order to fit these giant 43 inch Mickey Thompson tires on Raceline 20 inch bead locks with the monster valves for airing down. Um, it has five and a half inch metal cloak JK springs in the front um, to hold the extra weight, then JL springs in the rear. Of course, you can see the 2.5 inch King shocks with the clickers, and you can see the WFO long arm tucked in there. 1350 front CV driveline, and then underneath, Full belly skid, the metal cloak, full belly skid plate steel uh, trimmed for our long arm kit. You can see the rear long arm kit tucked in there. And the uh, 1410 CV rear drive line, 1410 at the pinion with the Dana 80. 40 spline again, Dynatrack, Pro Rock 80. Look at that bad boy in the back. Uh, King shocks in the rear as well and the rear motorbuilt bumper with the rear WFO ice chest rack, license plate relocation with the camera mount. He has the uh, RH 4x4 rear cargo basket and the rhino rack on the roof with the ladder and you can get a lot of ice chests up there. Factory half doors, um, ARB lockers front and rear are switched on the S-Pod and the air compressor is actually armed 
down uh, on the factory accessory switch there. And while we're down here looking, what in the heck is that? Yes, sir, this is the first one we've done. Has a 3.8 Atlas in it, and there are no lights on the dash. Fully operating, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Um, the only thing that we gave up is the two-wheel drive indicator does not show on the dash. Everything else works. Um, metal Cloak Rock Sliders, Metal Cloak Fenders, has the American Adventure Labs inner fenders in the rear that we cut a ton out to fit the 43s. Also cut the rear section out to fit the 43s. And then in the front, did a uh, washer bottle delete there and fit the American Adventure Lab fenders all the way pushed back. It gives much clearance for those 43s as they go in there. Rigid pod lights up there on the cowl. And then where we put the air locker, we normally do our air compressor right underneath the seat with an air up chuck right there. And uh, you know, the Atlas seems right at home in there. It was definitely some wiring issues and fitment issues. And thanks to the new secret uh, uh, menu on the Taser, we were able to completely handle all electronics so that there are no uh, lights on the dash. And that's always been the complaint with the Atlases. So the factory electronic sway bar is still working in the front and uh, everything else is still looking good on the dash. No lights going down the highway. A lot of you guys might ask, you know, these Mickey Thompsons, giant treads on the tire, bias ply tires, you know, are we ruining the 392 putting this big of a tire that's a bias ply on it? Is it gonna drive down the road? We, we were skeptical and uh, took it on the test drive, 70, 80 miles an hour. Uh, takes a little bit of time for the tires to warm up, but you can comfortably drive one finger down the highway ripping, enjoying it, having fun. Um, this does have the uh, MagnaFlow True Dual uh, rear exhaust setup that gets rid of the muffler underneath the back and uh, tucks up underneath so it sounds really good. So the gist of it is the 43s are bias ply, they are giant, they have a little bit of shimmy that kind of goes away as they warm up, but fully drivable. Uh, Ivan has a set of 42 inch radials he's gonna put on this, you know, when he takes his grandmother to Disneyland. Otherwise, she bad. Hope you like it.